a new super-Earth in the habitable zone. Kepler-725c, a new super-Earth in the habitable zone. On June 3, 2025, astronomers announced the discovery of Kepler-725c, a super-Earth orbiting a sun-like star in the constellation Cygnus. This exoplanet stands out not only for its size and location in the habitable zone, the region around a star where conditions could allow liquid water, but also because it was discovered using a sophisticated technique known as transit timing variations, TTV. This method offers a new window into planet detection, especially in multi-planet systems. Kepler-725c represents a significant step forward in our ongoing search for potentially habitable worlds beyond Earth. Kepler-725c was not discovered through direct imaging or even through the more traditional method of observing a planet's direct transit across its star. Instead, astronomers use transit timing variations, TTV, a technique that involves measuring slight deviations in the timing of a known planet's transits. These irregularities in timing can indicate the gravitational influence of an additional, unseen planet. Kepler-725b, a known exoplanet orbiting the star Kepler-725, had shown small variations in its transit timing for several years. After extensive modeling and reanalysis of Kepler data, supported by follow-up observations with ground-based telescopes and TESS, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, scientists concluded that another planet, Kepler-725c, was influencing the orbit of its sibling planet, the star, Kepler-725. Kepler-725 is a G-type main-sequence star very similar in size and temperature to our Sun. It lies approximately 1,120 light-years from Earth and has a surface temperature of about 5,780 K. Its brightness and stability make it an excellent candidate for observing planetary transits and variations. Name Kepler-725c. Type Super-Earth. Radius 1.9 Earth radii. Mass 9.7 Earth masses. Orbital period 207.5 Earth days. Distance from star 0.72 AU. Astronomical units. Eccentricity 0.13, slightly elliptical. Stellar flux received 1.4 times Earth's solar radiation. Surface conditions unknown. Atmosphere not yet confirmed. With a mass nearly 10 times that of Earth, Kepler-725c falls into the category of super-Earths, planets with masses between that of Earth and Neptune. These planets are large enough to retain significant atmospheres but small enough to potentially have solid surfaces. Its slightly eccentric orbit means that it spends a portion of its 207.5-day year within the habitable zone, where surface temperatures could, in theory, support liquid water. Habitability Potential One of the most compelling aspects of Kepler-725c is its location within the habitable zone. While it receives about 40% more stellar radiation than Earth, this doesn't rule out habitability. Several factors could moderate the climate. Cloud cover or reflective atmosphere. A dense atmosphere with high albedo, reflectivity, could reflect enough sunlight to maintain Earth-like temperatures. Axial tilt and seasons. If the planet has a moderate axial tilt, seasonal variation could prevent extreme heat buildup. Geological activity, tectonic and volcanic activity could help maintain a stable carbon cycle, essential for climate stability. Presence of oceans, oceans would help distribute heat and possibly support life. However, its higher gravity, due to increased mass, could affect atmospheric retention and surface conditions. For life to exist as we know it, Kepler-725c would need to have an atmosphere that moderates temperature extremes and protects the surface from harmful radiation. Atmosphere and Composition As of now, no direct atmospheric data exists for Kepler-725c. Future missions, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, or upcoming observatories like Louvoir or Habax, may be able to detect the planet's atmospheric composition through transit spectroscopy or direct imaging. Given its size and mass, models suggest it could have a rocky surface, possibly with a thin atmosphere like Earth, or a thicker envelope of hydrogen and helium, similar to many Neptunes. The presence of water vapor, oxygen, methane, or carbon dioxide in its atmosphere would be exciting indicators of potential habitability or even biosignatures. Kepler-725c is important for several reasons. 1. TTV Discovery Method This is the first super-Earth discovered in a habitable zone using the transit timing variation method. TTV is particularly valuable in detecting planets that don't transit their star directly from our line of sight, revealing hidden members of planetary systems. 2. Dynamical studies. The interactions between Kepler-725b and Kepler-725c allow scientists to estimate the mass of both planets with high precision, study gravitational resonances and orbital stability, model long-term system evolution. 3. 
Exoplanet Demographics Adding Kepler's 725c to the growing catalog of super-Earths helps refine models of planet formation, atmospheric retention, orbital migration. Its discovery improves our understanding of how common Earth-like planets might be in the galaxy. While Kepler's 725c is too far away for current human space travel, it's a prime candidate for atmospheric study using future space telescopes. JWST may attempt to detect atmospheric components if it can catch a partial transit. Future missions like the Origin Space Telescope, Louvoir, or Habex may directly image Kepler's 725c or probe its atmosphere in more detail. Robotic exploration may one day focus on sending interstellar probes using advanced propulsion concepts like Breakthrough Starshot, though such missions remain hypothetical. Would you like a visual diagram of the Kepler-725 system or a comparison between Kepler-725C and Earth? Thanks for watching and subscribe for the more video.